again to this. My name's Eve Cade. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talk we're starting a new series called Evercade's Best. We'll be looking at some of the best games in the Evercade system across every cartridge on Evercade, and talking about which games are the best. And we'll also have a sister series called Evercade's Worst, which is going to talk about the worst games from the, from the, uh, the system and what I think about them. Now, obviously, to start this to, for the pilot of this show, we're going to be talking about the '64 Street Detective story, the game a game on the Evercade Jalico Arcade Cart One, and let me just first say. This game's actually pretty good. You st you play as a detective called Rick, and obviously you play Rick or Alan. It's got two player uh, co which is great. A great game for the Evercade VS, obviously if you want to play with a friend or family. And basically, you're going through these levels, searching for a missing person, you know, fighting all these thugs and bad guys. And obviously, there's a boss level. The boss is actually pretty hard. And there's robots in this game that you can beat up, and they have like really silly fists. Now. This game obviously came out in, well, according to this thing, came, according to this, it came out in 1991, so it's quite an old game. It came out, what, the same year as Sonic Hedgehog did, so it's quite old. And this game's obviously one of the best beat-em-ups on Evercade, in my opinion. You know, it's, uh, first of all, the graphics look really great, even to the day, which is funny from a game from so long ago. And you've got, um, you've got the other little fact with this game, which, uh, it's got destructible backgrounds, where you can, like, literally pick up an enemy and throw them into the background, and break, like, doors, windows. You know, whatever. It's actually really cool. Obviously, you've got pickups and power ups in this game, which helps you obviously regenerate half, or you can get a metal pipe and start bashing the head of a metal pipe. It's actually a really cool game. And the fact that it's on Evercade is actually really cool as well because a lot of these old games aren't re released by companies that are defunct and don't exist anymore. So, yeah. Anyway, right. This game's obviously on Jellicle Arcade Cup, and it's one of eight games, meaning you only get some great other, other great games on this game. I know. Games like Avengers Spirit is pretty good, you know, Side Battle is pretty fun, Saint Dragon is pretty fun, and overall 64 Dead Sixty Story is actually a re really cool game, because, you know, it's just fun, it's just fun, you can play with two player, and also with Blaze having, obviously, your ability to put as many quarters as you want in this game, uh, it doesn't matter how many times you die, you can just keep playing, you can just keep having fun, and that's all you need to do, you just have some fun, you know, be beating up some bad guys with a friend, and it's arguably, this is arguably one of the best games on Evercade. Compared to some other games like uh, uh, Dragon or Double Dragon Three, which is a terrible beat 'em up, but Six of the Six was actually one of the best better ones. You know, alongside Double Dragon Two, well, I'm talking about the arcade version, obviously, and obviously uh, Confrey and some of the other games. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Do you do you like the Six of the Six? Do you own the Jellico arcade cart? Are you gonna buy the cart just to play this game? You know, what's your thoughts on this game? Leave all that in the comments down below. I've been Ethercade. I'm signing out. Peace.